In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a system of linear equations with substitution. Um, and for this first example, I'm going to choose an example where one of the variables is already isolated in one of the equations. Okay, so in this question, we're asked to solve this system of equations with substitution. So we've got two equations here, 2x plus 3y equals 6, and y equals like negative x plus 3. And remember that what solving a system of equations means is finding valuables for the values for the variables, so like numbers for x and y, that make both equations true. Um, so, for example, uh, we maybe we'd find out that x is 2 and y is 7, and that would mean that if we substitute those numbers into the equation, this will come out to 6, and then this will come out to something, and this will also come out to the same thing. The two sides will be equal. Okay, so before I do anything, I'm going to just give these equations names. Um, it's sort of funny to give them people names, uh, just like Frank and Edward and whatever. Uh, but uh, for right now, I'm not sure I dare do that on YouTube. Right now, I'll just give them names that are numbers. Uh, but if you want to, you can always just call them people names because it's more amusing. Okay, so I'm going to call them equation 1 and equation 2. Now I'd like you to notice something. Um, there's something sort of special about equation 2. And it's pretty common. This equation is written in slope-intercept form, so the slope is negative 1 and the y-intercept is 3. But what I'm actually really interested in, the important thing to notice here, is that one of the variables is isolated. Uh, y is all alone on the left side of the equal sign. So this is really convenient. We know exactly how much y is. We don't know in terms of numbers yet. We don't know if it's 8 or 12 or whatever. But we know that y is equal to negative x plus 3. We don't know that yet in equation 1. We could rearrange this. We know how to rearrange the slope-intercept form. But it's really convenient that in uh, equation 2 it's already done. So here's how we're going to start solving this equation, the system of equations. If y is equal to negative x plus 3, then this y up here in equation 1, I could just replace that with negative x plus 3. Okay, because these two things are equal, so I can replace one with the other. Um, and the advantage of that, as you'll see in a second, is that will give us an equation that's true and that only has x's in it, so we'll be able to solve it. So here's what we're going to do. And as you do these questions, I need you to write down what you're doing. So substitute equation 2 into 1. If you prefer, you could write substitute y equals negative x plus 3 into equation 1. Uh -huh. So let's see what we've got if we do that. Equation 1, I'm just going to copy it down here. got 2x plus 3, and I'll just put the y in pink, equals 6. Now I'm going to take my pink y and I'm going to replace it with negative x plus 3. So I have 2x plus 3 times negative x plus 3. And then I'm just copying it from above again, equals 6. Okay, this is actually really nice. Um, this was the key idea because now I just have a little linear equation and we know how to solve these. So 2x equals, I'll multiply out. Uh, 3 times x plus, uh, negative x plus 3, so I'll have minus 3x, and then 3 times 3 is 9, that's equal to 6. And then I'll simplify 2x minus 3x is negative x plus 9 equals 6. And I'll subtract 9 from both sides. I'm just trying to get x equals something. Negative x plus 9 minus 9 equals 6 minus 9. So that gives me negative x equals negative 3. Uh, it's, if you feel this is going too fast, just pause the video. You know how to do all this stuff. Um, just pause it. If you do it on your own sometimes, you're like, oh, yeah, that's all it was. And then the last thing, I have negative x is negative 3. Um, so I'm going to divide by negative 1. And we get x equals 3. So this is awesome. This tells you us that where these two lines cross on a graph, the x value is 3. And this also tells us that if we substitute x equals 3 and some particular y value, into, and it'll be the same in both, then both of these equations will be true. So this is awesome enough that I'm going to give it a 
the name. I'll call it equation three. You can call it mm, Philip. <laughs> you can call it whatever you like. Okay, that is the hard part right there. Now we're not actually done because to solve a system we also need to know the value of y. But this is no trouble from here now on in. We know the value of x, so I'm going to substitute. You can write x equals 3 here. I'll write equation 3 into. And you can at this point substitute it into either of the original equations. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, I just try to pick the one that will make my calculations easier. I want to know what y is, and so I'm going to substitute it into 2, number 2, because I'll have y all isolated there. So equation 2 says y equals negative x plus 3. So when I substitute my x equals 3, maybe I'll put a pink box around that, so that's a big deal. I'll have negative 3 plus 3. And negative 3 plus 3 is just 0. So it turns out that the y value that's going to make these equations true is 0. So, we're actually, I'm going to check it, but we actually have an answer here. So the solution is xy equals the x value is 3 and the y value is 0. There we go. So that's how you solve a system of equations with substitution. Now, every time you do this, I want you to substitute back into the equation to double check. So, check. So I'll start with equation 1. The left side is equal to 2x plus 3y. And that, if I substitute my x and y values that I found, that's 2 times 3, plus 3 times 0, and that's 6 plus 0 is 6. The right side is equal to 6, and my left side and right side are equal, because they're both equal to 6. So that means that x equals 3 and y equals 0 is a solution to the first equation. It makes both sides equal. And I'll just check number 2 as well. So the left side is equal to y, and my y value is 0. My right side is equal to negative x plus 3, and that's equal to negative 3 plus 3, and that's equal to 0. So again, for equation 2, the left side does equal the right side. Sounds perfect. Okay, good luck.